Hey y'all, I'm going to be reacting to Wave Let's Go Surfing episode 11. I'll watch it from Crunchyroll's website and I'll be starting my reaction in 1, 0, go! TV Tokyo, which... I always love seeing the logo that way. Now the biggest question is if Show's brother is as good as his brother, which... Going by the movements... He does look on that same tier of good. Which kind of makes you wonder what would happen to Show World Life. He might have actually had a shot of beating Fuke if he was in the same tournament. Considering his skill level. Hell yeah. About time. And you know something I like about this episode, too, so far? Is that just from the fact that they're finally going to delve more into show circumstances, I do like how this series is, at the very least, they're angling just for the fact that when it comes to this episode, they're not completely forgetting about show, they're setting up for some... I'm gonna assume some sad sequences, and I actually dig that. At least it shows you, in my opinion, that the series itself is gutsy. It's seemingly gonna make potential viewers uncomfortable, and you know, whenever a series has the guts to do that, I gotta compliment its conviction. Because most series, they wouldn't do this kind of stuff. And they would just call it a day in these type of circumstances. But I like how for this one, it doesn't do that. It's actually going to seemingly, it's going to seem like we're going to get some show backstory if the brother's involved. And the brother himself looks charismatic, so I actually can't wait. And that's why the scenes before the opening pump me up, because... Anytime the series goes with, like, the emotional approach, it succeeds in pulling it off. Hmm. Damn! Kind of like how even earlier in the series, they had this type of epic foreshadowing that Show's brother was going to be involved in the narrative eventually. Whoa! I mean... All things considered... Uh, I mean, I guess they didn't know a show for a good amount of time, but that's how life is sometimes. You may know someone a good amount of time, but... You may not necessarily know the siblings. My guess is maybe Joe show just... Never had a chance to talk about his older... Brother, and that's why? They don't know much about him? I'm assuming he's not going to be able to ride those webs, though. Because, yeah! I mean, Masaki is the type to get taken in by his emotions easily. I'm surprised Tanaka's struggle. Oh. I don't think at least Tanaka would have been able to pull off riding those webs. But you know what? It does show you how much they need to improve, though. I'm assuming Hayamichi is the only one that can actually keep up. Look how Fuki goes to like first to dibs. But he's like the only one that can probably keep up with them. Are the boys there right now? Okay, that one looks bigger. <laughs> Or is it just my imagination? Okay, so I wasn't imagining shit. That thing does look bigger. Love that swath smile. <laughs> it actually gives him characterization seeing his huge amounts of confidence in himself. Oh man, hey. If Hayamachi can do it, so that means it must run in Sho's family. 
I mean, why wouldn't he? If you're that good at surfing and you're a professional, then it makes sense that you'd be able to enjoy what you're doing. I guess there are cases where professionals don't even enjoy their job. But y'all know what I mean. In most cases, you would enjoy it. And what are, what are his impressions on the boys, though? He looks disappointed. Yeah, I had a feeling he was going to be disappointed. <laughs> Jeez. Damn. It's like about kicking them down even more when they're already on the floor. Oh. Okay, you know what? I dig it. He's blunt to the point. He's honest. He doesn't pussyfoot. But I like how he's actually willing to teach the boys and how to better stuff. That's cool. Because most people in life, they just talk shit. And they don't even bother teaching him yet. I am Nietzsche's taking time out of his day. I think that's pretty damn cool if you ask me. I just love his nervousness. <laughs> Maybe his technique didn't was off. Oh. Yeah, I mean that fits. They do say in competitions you gotta usually worry about beating yourself and not others. His issues. Is <laughs> I love how he just asks, hits his um, soft spot for talking about me duty you uh, like that. Makes sense. Sometimes you do need more individuality when you're pulling. Interesting, we saw a mole animation movement with one of the other boys, but Bill's mole's two, I mean, two spots still don't move. I'm assuming the Saki's technique is completely... Mm. I mean, hey, like brother, like brother. Yeah. And on top of that, he's had a way more years of experience, too. Well, what should, I think it's more accurate to say, yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Show style looks like Hayamichi, considering Hayamichi is the one who made the style. Now that's the spirit, not giving up despite how tough it is. That's why I like moments like these in the series. Just showing all the emotional trials all the main protagonists go through. How things aren't just rewarded to them straight up. I think it makes the series, in my opinion, a little bit more badass. Oh boy, he looks like he's in interrogation mode right now with the facial expression he's making. Well, no, he has to be like himself. That ain't gonna cut it. Because there's only one show. And I'm liking how he's a realist. He's not going to give him false hope like that. And he's right. You should never try to copy someone else. You're trying to be your own man. Because if you copy other people, you're not going to be able to perform to your fullest. Who the hell is it with the shell? <laughs> I, mean, I mean, I guess there are unique ways of eating food. Here's what he has to... Re oh, I'm noticing that Billy didn't draw his dots there in the blurry image there. Kind of a little slight lack of detail there, but hey, it's not too awful. Just a minor. Just have to notice it. Here's what... Look, <laughs> I'm not even realizing what's going on. 
I mean, I guess it makes sense. So you didn't tell him uh, how Michi told him. But no. Well, how Michi's telling Masaki, yeah, Masaki has to be his own man. He has to find his own style, and that's how he's going to be the best server he can be because each person's body is different and they have different muscle memories, so you got to react to what your body can do. You shouldn't try to copy something else entirely. You gotta be your own person. I think that's what Hayamichi's trying to tell him. Hmm. Oh. Well, hey, well, funny life works when it comes to coincidences. Kind of like how when he mentioned snow, I like the symbolism with the water instantly touching Masaki. They're showing you that even though, unfortunately, Show's passed away, it does show you that Show's presence is still felt there. Oh. Really? You know, something about seeing younger show that really gets to me. Talk about the introduction right there. Oh, so that's where you got the quote from. You know, something seeing about both the younger and the older show surf really gets to me. Oh, no, that's something beautiful about this. Hmm. Hell yeah. Okay, this is a little bit twisted there. Too much. You can tell it was off model there, but hey, overall, I like the visual. It looks good. When it comes to like the water effects. Oh. And that's why I like the little effect too of the water hitting, because I remember. Like, before Tanaka was gonna move, even Sho said that they'll be connected by, the, I believe, the waves or the water. And I love this. You s I love how that scene symbolized all that. That's visual storytelling right there. Oh, he's actually getting serious with the bench pressing. Again, the animators didn't draw Bill's dots. <laughs> I mean, I don't think they should have given him the dots in the first place. But hey, you know what? That's just the only minor inconsistency. Man, the server doesn't look that bad. They're actually animating it pretty decently this week. Hmm. Of course I'd be watching the Mirio You anime. <laughs> Why would you be crying at a uh, transformation sequence? <laughs> I know it's not maybe crying at a death scene, but a transformation scene? Okay. <laughs> that is how big organize I signed up for. Oh. That's the kind of thing I love to see there, though. Seeing how Amichi's at war. Oh, he's actually getting better. Hmm. Honestly, I admit you, if you should consider being an instructor on the spare too, on spare time. It's really freaking good. I mean, it happens sometimes. Even some of the best athletes can get into some slumps sometimes. That's just life. I think what he should do, yeah, he has to just think about having fun, thinking about, 
Think about being himself. He should aim for just having fun. That's what show would tell him. That's what he would tell him right now in that spot. Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. He can't swim still? Hi, I'm Ichi's probably going to show up and save him. And this time will be Hayamachi that will save him. Because someone needs to pass the figurative baton of saving. Masaki's lying. Oh. Wow. No, it's got, I don't think it's going to be Hayamachi that's going to save him. Yup! You know, there's something really powerful about that scene, though, seeing how it was showed, saved in the first time out, so... Hi, Michi. But he's... It's as if he's being shows. Oh, wait, never mind. Oh, it's Fuke? Oh, looks like he's gonna save him instead. Okay! I'm actually impressed. Wow! I thought I was gonna actually be... I made you that I was gonna save him. But that was nice of this... Where he sees that image of Sho though while he was losing conscious. You know, Fuki's a cool dude now. And I love scenes like this. Even though, yes, you saw Fuki sort of a hard ass when he was first introduced. You see him actually tend to someone's needs when they're in need of help. That is, man, that is so good. Hey, I mean, he finally realized it. Oh, and I love that smile where Anichi's uh, thinking he finally realized it on his own. But hey, finally we're um, seeing Masaki grow though. He finally realized what Shio told him a long time ago. Yeah, he has to surf the way Masaki is going to surf. Yeah, exactly. He just surfed the way that will make himself proud. <laughs> I like the persons of the surfers, even though that one fell, he still got back on the surfboard. You know, I actually like that CG animation where you see them all move simultaneously. And that was smooth when you see Tanaka Sumi, that smooth transition from like 2D to the CG. Yo, okay, we're going all out this week. They're actually making the CGI actually look good. Hell yeah. Fuck yeah, no, that's how you do it. Man, nah, seeing stuff like this puts a smile to my... Ooh, okay, you worried the shit out of me. Oh no, he's actually handling it. Whoa! I like it. he's not being perturbed by the being hit by the wave. He's actually excited. Yo! I love seeing him build up that self confidence. Huh? Kind of like the music here. Sounds really darn beautiful. Hell yeah! You fucking did it! You know, I mean, like the smile from the CG looks natural. 
And I like how Michi smiles like a proud sensei as he's watching his student graduate. Oh, even Fu, okay. Even like seeing Fuke smile too. Oh, yes, this is the type of stuff I love to see. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Down the thing. <laughs> Look how he's all formal. <laughs> sure, they both share the fun of surfing. Oh, okay, I thought it was going to end, I was like, okay, I mean, that'd have been quite the interesting ending if they would have ended off on that note. Hey, it looks pretty... Okay, I was kind of getting worried, I was about to hit a Masaki for a bit, I was like, oh shit. Man, look, you know, that kind of makes me want to eat a pineapple now. <laughs> oh. Surprisingly, you thought you would prioritize something over Mirudio there. That's adorable. <sighs> I like how he teases Tanaka back now. That is some, some pro status right there. There's going to be a tournament. Oh. Oh. Well, hey, you know, I hope that legend ends up being true. Hell yeah. Honestly, it kind of feels like, um... Kind of feels like this would be a decent season finale, if you ask me. Oh. Alright, it's back. Hmm. Oh, then, oh, damn, it's over. But yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to rate this. I'm definitely giving this one. If I had to rate this on a scale of 1 to 10, this episode, for me, it gets a 9 out of 10. It was absolutely amazing because it finally gave us important background information. For one, it gave us more details on show, where you land surfing, why he unfortunately committed suicide. That really got to me there. And I'll give the series credit. When they uh, mentioned on that, it, it really made it hurt. And that's what I thought the episode was amazing. Because it didn't pull back bunches. And I like that. And aside from it tackling tough themes like that, Something else that I really felt gutsy about this episode too was just introducing a high um, Michi right here. Thought he was charismatic. I love his blunt personality, but he mental when he was when he wanted to teach the others better surfing. I thought that was really freaking cool too. It makes um, the cast more like lovable than it already was. And Fuki was a big surprise how he saved the life of Misaki and additionally. He went as far as even mentioning he wants to meet him again, and he was happy when they all got better, became better surfers. Yes, there's an episode to fuck yeah! And that's why I really love the episode, because there was a lot of surprising emotional punches that I wasn't... that I wasn't really expecting yet. It just unleashed them out of like nowhere, and I mean that in a good way. And that's why I was a really big fan of the narrative. As for other elements that I really enjoyed about this episode too, aside from the Fuki character development, because you see more of his gentler side, I like the character development for Masaki, because even though, yes, it was apparent that he needed to surf his own style, it was still nice seeing him slowly realize it, because even though, yes, it would have been maybe easier for Haya Michi to mention it straight up, there are just certain things you need to figure out. And sometimes... When you're such a big funk, you're not going to be able to notice your flaws. 
at least not until you put them in situations where you gotta realize your own flaws. And that's something I also appreciate about this episode too. Because it makes it feel much more relatable. And plus something else that I also really appreciate about this episode too. I just like the sincerity of it too. Seeing how Yamichi have fun. Seeing how he has a serious turn side and on top of having a serious turn side. He has like a nice mentor side. I love that. And aside from Masaki being much more confident now that he realizes he's just surfing his own style, I just love the genuine joy you see on his face. And in addition to that, something else I love about this too, I love the fact that it ends off with Fuke and even Hayamichi being confident in the next generation of surfers. That was actually really nice too. I think it helps wrap things up in an e-bowl where if this would have ended the series like this, it would have been nice. And that's what I love the episode. How a lot of emotional punches, especially when you see little Shaw surfing with his brother. That was beautiful. Animation looked good. Alric was really good. And that's why, at least in my opinion, I feel the episode's worthy of a 9 out of 10.